What's going on, you guys? So Michelle Rivera, as we know, got a fight coming up this weekend, a big fight between Frank Martin, the undefeated Frank the Ghost Martin. And this is a fight between the two undefeated lightweights. And let's be honest, whoever wins likely will be getting a title shot relatively soon. Whoever loses, well, it's back to the drawing board. But Michelle Rivera, if you've been following boxing, if you pay attention to boxing, and if you don't know, now you know, he's rated highly in all the sanctioned bodies at the lightweight division. He was actually next in line. He should have been actually fighting Tank Davis next. He should have been fighting Tank next, but Tank Davis is fighting Hector Luis Garcia, a guy that's a super featherweight. I'm not quite sure. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what weight class Tank fights at. He bounces from 130 all the way up to 140. So now he's kind of skipped out on Michel Rivera and he's fighting Hector Luis Garcia January 7th. But Michel Rivera was supposed to have been had his shot at Tank Davis. He's just patiently waiting. He has says this in quote, I should have already gotten my opportunity a long time ago, but now I'm 100% focused on Martin. Once I take care of business, everything will fall into place. So he said after he beat Frank Martin this weekend, everything will fall into place. He should be next to fight Tank. Now, Tank Davis, as we know, got two fights lined up. One with Hector Luis Garcia, who in my opinion is a live opponent, a, a, a live dog, and could possibly make things interesting for Javante Tank Davis. And then he's going to follow through with a fight with Ryan Garcia sometime early next year. But, the, but Tank Davis... What we heard him say recently was after he takes care of Ryan, he's going to fight Devin and Shakur, and then he's going to simply retire from the sport. I think Tank Davis is a fighter that's in such high demand that he wouldn't have to fight with a guy like Michelle Rivera if he didn't want to. They're not going to make him fight Michelle Rivera if he doesn't want to. Michelle Rivera is going to have to really press the issue after if he beats Frank Martin this weekend. Tank Davis, um, fans, boxing fans coming at Tank Davis saying, look, how come you ain't fight Michelle Rivera? Tank Davis says he's trash. So he called me Shari Rivera trash. So why don't you go ahead and take out the trash, Tank? And in, in, in all honesty, he should have been fighting Michelle Rivera right now instead of Hector Luis Garcia in a lightweight division. But we know we know how the politics of boxing can work sometimes, and it definitely don't work out in every fighter's favor. But I'm interested to see what happens. Michelle Rivera, of course, has to be 100% focused on Frank Martin. Frank the Ghost Martin, Errol Spencer's fighter. He's going to be in shape and he's going to be ready to go. we got a great coach in Derrick James. So they're going to be well prepared to derail the momentum that Michelle Rivera has. Both guys got a lot of momentum. And now they're about to collide and smack right dab right in front of each other. So we're going to see who, who's the last man standing in this fight. We're going to see who gets the decision. We're going to see who wins the fight period this weekend. But will the winner get a shot at Tank Davis or any of the top lightweights? I'm not sure. Devin Haney's having some issues right now with Lomachenko. They're trying to stall it out even longer to May. Devin wants it sooner because, let's be honest, Devin can't really make the weight like that. So, yeah, the politics of boxing is playing games right now, and we're going to see how all this unfolds. Be sure to check out the fight this weekend. It's a great fight between Michelle Rivera and Frank the Ghost Martin. Like, subscribe, holler your boy. Peace out.